Hey there, welcome back! Today I want to share one of the core techniques for Jingo developers. How to remotely debug a Jingo application running inside a Docker container. If you have ever found yourself frustrated with endless print statements to figure out what's going wrong, this video is for you. First, let's talk about why this is such a big deal. When you are running your app locally, debugging is easy. You have a full control over the runtime. But when you are working inside a container, things get trickier. Because your code is isolated, your tools are limited. That's where remote debugging steps in. It lets you connect your IDE directly to your running app, so you can debug in real time without breaking your workflow. Let's start with the project structure. Here's what our files will look like. First, we need a Docker file, where we'll set up the folder structure, install requirements for our Jenga project, and run the server in the end. The second thing we need is a Docker Compose file, where all of our containers are described. Here we need to expose an additional port for debugging purposes and mount a local directory. If you are running a single Django container, it can all be done in a Docker file, but most likely you have more containers in play. The next one is requirements, where we will list Django and DebugPy to be able to attach a debugger to the project, or Django Debug Toolbar can be used instead. Let's adjust our Django app to enable the debugger. Open manage.py and add this snippet. We need to import settings module to enable debugger only if debug equals true. And if you are running it with multiple processes, you can check for environment or variable called run main to ensure that debugger is attached only to the main process. The main block here is setting the listener to our debugging port. With everything in place, let's fire up our container by running this command docker compose up dash dash build. Now any changes you make in your local codebase are automatically reflected in the container and the debugger is ready to attach. Here's how to connect your IDE. In VS Code, create a .vs code folder and the launch.json file with this configuration. Especially pay attention to the port you specified in your docker compose and manage py files and to the project location locally and in the container. Now a new element appears in your VS Code debug section. You can run it and attach a debugger to a container with Django in it. Let's see it in action. I've added a breakpoint to one of my views. When I visit the endpoint, the debugger pauses execution and I can inspect variables and step through the code with the possibility to change variable value on apply. A useful tip I want to share. If you add extra configuration parameter to your debugger setup, you will be able to set breakpoints even in third-party code. To achieve this, edit your launch.json file and add the key just my code, setting it to false. Now let's return to the view. Use any third-party package and place breakpoint inside of it. After that, on a page reload, you'll be able to see it in action, working with third-party packages. That's a wrap. With this setup, you can debug your Django apps running in Docker while avoiding the hassle of rebuilds. It's efficient, intuitive, and a huge time saver. If you found this helpful, hit like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what other Docker or Django tips you would like to see. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.